So we're here to talk to you about Sarah. Let me show you a picture. Do you okay. know Sarah? I don't know. Okay. Sarah went missing. Um, I'll show you some pictures of, of, of her on the day. Okay. Sarah went missing um, on Wednesday. And her parents, obviously, and her family are really worried about her now. The inquiry that's been conducted so far has led us to come and speak to you about it and to see what we, what we know about Sarah, okay? So, would you like to, do you know where Sarah is? No. Right, okay. Do you know anything about what happened to her? I know that um, she went missing up in um, London somewhere um, what, about a week ago or so, uh, just from what I've got on the news. Okay. Have you ever personally met her? No, not personally met her. You had any interactions with her at all? No, why would what, what, what I have personal interactions with her? <coughs> well, it's very difficult because I can't go into a lot of the evidence because obviously that would be quite, that's not part of what an urgent interview is, okay? This interview is just about trying to find her. Sure. She's yeah. been missing for a while well, I'm, now. I'm sat in handcuffs and <coughs> with what I know her. So you must have something to say that I, I know her. Well, as I said, you've been arrested on suspicion of kidnap, and we believe that you've been involved in her disappearance and taking her away from her family. Okay. So we are trying to find her. Obviously, everybody is very worried about her. She's got, you know, parents. She's got, a, a, you know, she's siblings. She's got a boyfriend. There's a lot of people that care about her. Um, sure. If you've sure. seen her on the news, there are people that you know reach out about her. Sure out there looking for her every day and she's missing and it's our job, our primary job here is to find her and to try and find her safe and well. Okay. Now we believe if you know something about where she is and that's why we're here to look for her and to try and find her and that's why we're talking to you now is to try and get you to have a good think about it and you know, test anything you can about where we might be able to find her. Okay, um, well I am in financial 
um, and I've been um, lent on by, um, I don't know who they are, they're a group, a gang, whatever, um, and they told me why I need to go and pick up girls and give them to them. So, um, I said, not happening, um, and it then came through that they're going to harm my family, take them away, and they'll use them instead. Um, but at that point, I had no option to try and find somebody. So, I don't, um, there's, there's a couple of names I was told a place to um, take her. That's it. That's all, that is all I know. And to this group of people. Tell me about them. I need to find them. Tell me everything you know. That okay. I that you'll have there was a white sprinter van. Um, they um, are it was between sort of Lennon, Mainstone area that I got to off. Um, I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. They they just I, I just um, parked my car up and then the van come up behind me, flashed me, and they all jumped out. Um, and then they, they, they took this girl. Um, they said they said you've done good, and I don't know if my family's going to be all right still. But they, they threatened they threatened to take my family away from me so at that point I'm, I'm doing what I can to protect my family that's it so all I know is that it was a roundabout I, we could drive there now I could show you but I, 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 roughly I don't know Lenham Maidstone area at all if you um, did it on Google if you did it on Google Maps like Google Earth if you drove it right I drove from Ashford to Maidstone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a roundabout that breaks up, I guess. So this is the first big roundabout that I've come to. And you carry straight over to Maidstone, but instead I went round that roundabout and back up another road um, and at that point that I was flashed and pulled over um, three guys got out um, opened my door, opened that door um, pushed me out against the front of the car took the girl drove off, that's it they said we'll be in touch so I'm here I'm off work with stress because I'm here to protect my family I want to be here 24-7 for my family they come from my family. I've got nothing myself. I've got no choice. I'll go back through the route with you in a minute, all right? But how do they contact you? How did you contact them? I tried to film one of their cool girls and rip her off. Mm -hmm. So she's told them. And um, they, they, they've got me. So. How do they no, but is, how do they contact you? How how is it they've been in contact with you to make these threats? They just they just tell me be here, be here. So Hotel Burston, down in Folkestone, got be here. Okay, so I turned up. Um I've got, I've got no mobile number and they have got my mobile number. They have they're obviously outside watching, following. I uh, just honestly How are they telling you to be there? To be there? How is it that in those directions yeah they'll, they'll, they'll come outside so they'll be outside here yeah and then they'll say why well, you're going to be in Folkestone at this time or you're going to be in Ashford at this time and that's it okay. there's no links no telephone numbers I'm completely on my own but at the same time being threatened um, it had um, Romanian plates on the on the van um, uh, white um, like Mercedes Sprinter type van, there's a transporter, um, a blue.